So I'm pretty excited to get started here on working on a kernel modification. Uh, particularly, uh, we're going to be working on the Blue Life 1X2. And uh, as you might already know, if you've looked over my previous video series, I did make uh, kernel modification videos before. And they, uh, unfortunately, the uh, video and audio quality were fairly low. And hopefully this will be a little better uh, quality here being in HD and uh, hopefully with some, some better audio to go with that. Uh, one of the other problems with the old video series is that it was for a 32-bit phone. And of course, uh, you know, we're modernizing in this day and age and everything's moving to 64-bit. And so it's not as common to find the 32-bit phone, especially for new phones coming out on the market. So I feel this would be fairly useful uh, to look at it from a 64-bit perspective. Most of it really is the same as far as how it's done, but uh, hopefully this will uh, just give some a better insight to that. Uh, one of the things you should always do when you are going to do something like kernel modification or um, you know, really anything with your phone is a little bit of research. And uh, this phone we have researched time and time again, particularly uh, we've taken this Blue Life 1X2, we've researched it and then built a device tree from scratch. And then we researched it and uh, upgraded from uh, Marshmallow to Nugget. Uh, although that's still a work in progress and we're hammering out some details, we've done the research, we've looked at this phone a lot, especially if you followed along with the video series. Um, so it's really important to know uh, what it is you're working with and to do your homework. So a couple of big things that I wanna point out for you for doing this kind of research for yourself. The big thing to look at is what system on a chip do you have? What's your platform? And if you go to a place like GSM Arena or similar places, they'll tell you the platform for your phone if you don't know it already. Uh, the chipset, Qualcomm MSM8937 Snapdragon 430. So the system on a chip is a Snapdragon 430 and the chipset is an MSM. 8937. CPU octa-core 1.4 gigahertz, Cortex A53, and GPU of Adreno 505. These are fairly important things to know uh, when you're going to be working with kernel modification. Uh, another thing you can do is you can compare it to similar phones. And we've been comparing it to the Eureka Black because it's a very similar phone. And it also has a Snapdragon 430 as well. So um, What's really great about this is it allows us to uh, compare this phone to other phones that perhaps people have already done kernel modifications on. And that gives us some great pointers, great insight of where to look, and, uh, and just can be very, very helpful for examples. Um, another thing you can do is jump on Wikipedia and uh, check out for uh, whatever your particular uh, chipset is, whether it's a Snapdragon or Exynos or whatever the case may be, MediaTek or whatnot. Um, and you see here we have the MSM8937. And while this isn't super informative, it does give us a, a few little insights here um, that we can hopefully use. Uh, it talks about the memory, talks about the GPU and the CPUs, and um, often lists like these will also include what type of sound uh, you know, is used in this chipset uh, and what kind of um, you know, uh, different options that the chipset might have that you could possibly use. And so those are important things to know as well. Um, we jumped on here and looked at uh, a few benchmarks for this. Uh, you know, so it's just telling you about the about the phone, 28 uh, nanometer uh, features, Adreno 505, um, some Bluetooth memory things, 64-bit, uh, and you know some benchmarks for the phone. It's really great to grab a few benchmarks before you get started and a few benchmarks after you get started or after you're done. So that way you have a little bit of comparison of how well that worked out for you. Um, depending on what you're trying to do or what your goal is. If your goal is, you know, adding um, more governors and you're trying to make the phone more efficient power-wise, or if you're trying to make the phone uh, more uh, powerful, 
uh, for instance, trying to turn it into a gaming machine, or are you trying to turn it into a uh, conservative uh, power saving machine? So just lots of different things to uh, think about and look at there. And uh, always make sure to do your research before you get started on a big project like this.